हेलो ऑल टुडे वी विल स्टडी अ प्रेजेंटेशन ऑन एल यू डी कम्पोजिशन दिस आर द थिंग्स दैट वी विल गो थ्रू टूडे फर्स्ट इज बेजिक्स ऑफ एल यू डी कम्पोजिशन देन वी विल सी द मैथड वी विल गो थ्रू विथ वन एग्जाम्पल प्रोग्राम इन पाइथन एंड एल यू डी कम्पोजिशन विथ परम्यूटेशन first of all what is lu decomposition so lu decomposition is a method to solve a set of simultaneous linear equation lu decomposition is basically used to solve set of linear equations in lu decomposition as the name suggests we decompose the matrix into two parts or more uh, uh, we um, we can say that uh, we decompose a matrix into a product of two matrices that is lower triangular and upper triangular matrix uh, there is a some uh, there is a third matrix that uh, sometimes comes into play that is permutation matrix we will study what is permutation matrix afterwards but mostly this decomposition is used to calculate the determinant or it is used to solve linear equation lu decomposition can also be thought of as a low rank approximation that is when we are having a large number of uh, data or we can say that uh, during recommendation system also when there are when there is a uh, large matrices composed of uh, review or ratings uh, of any product or movie uh, this matrices are most of the times sparse matrices which takes a lot of memory space Uh, at this time lu decomposition comes to the uh, rescue it uh, divides the matrix uh, or we can say that uh, uh, it decomposes the matrix um, our uh, entire matrix into two matrices which can be easily stored in a limited amount of memory now we will see that how lu decomposition is basically carried out so as you can see that we divide our ma original matrix a into uh, wait into two matrix that is left uh, that is lower this is the entire process how we do it so ax is equals to b is our main equation where a are the coefficients of x x is the vector that we need to find and b is the solution of this equations so here our main objective is to find the value of x for this we decompose a into two matrices that is a is equals to l u so over here we can write instead of a we can write l u x is equals to b now we can multiply by l inverse on both the sides basically we are multiplying l inverse on both the sides so that this can be reduced into identity matrix i because we know that l inverse into l results into identity matrix i so from this it leads to i u x is equals to l inverse b now we know that when we multiply identity matrix with ux the result will be ux itself so ux is equals to l inverse b now at this point of time the values that are unknown with us is x now we need to find the value of x for this we suppose that l inverse b is equals to y so from this we can write l inverse b is equals to y so from this here instead of l inverse b we can write y so this will be our one equation ux is equals to y and the second will be like l inverse b is equals to y is there so we can also write ly is equals to b when i multiply l on both the sides again this l in l into l inverse will be i and i into b will be b itself so 
from this we can get ly is equals to b these are our two equations which is going to help us to find the values of unknown now this is the entire way how to solve the equation first we are given ax is equals to b so we will decompose a into l and u now we will solve ly is equals to b and will obtain the value of y now we have y with us now what is remaining is just x so for x we have the equation ux is equals to y where we will plug the values of y u and we will get x now to um, study it in more detail we will see one example in the upcoming slide and this is how we decompose a into two matrices l and u see over here we can write l11 l22 and l33 also but when i write it then after multiplication it won't give me the exact result that is i won't be able to find all these unknowns for that for simplicity we are writing this lower triangular matrix main diagonal as one now these are our two matrices and we need to find these all unknowns so over here we are having five unknowns and over here we are having three unknowns all together we need to find these eight unknowns this is the one example now over here we need first of all to find what is the matrix a then if you recall we have a studied that a is nothing but the coefficients of x so over here the coefficient is 1 over here the coefficient is 1 and 1 so this will be 1 1 1 over here coefficient is 2 uh, sorry it is 1 then 2 and 2 so my next row will be 1 2 2 similarly my third row will be 1 2 and 3 now these are the values of b 5 6 and 8 and x1 x2 x are our unknowns that we need to solve over here we got the value of l so we will plug the value of l y and b is already given to us now this is known as forward substitution see remember forward substitution there are two types of substitution one is forward and another one is backward this is known as forward substitution as we are getting getting the value of y1 y2 and then y3 when over here i multiply this with this first of all i'll get y1 then i'll multiply this with this and i'll get y2 then i will multiply third row with this column and i will get y3 what are the values of y1 y2 y3 y1 is 5 y2 is 1 and y3 is 2 now we have got the value of y also now the remaining thing is to find the value of x for this we have equation ux is equals to y so over here i will multiply u we are having this upper triangular matrix we need to find the value of x and the value of y we have found in previous slide so i will put over here the value of y and my next task is to find the value of x for this first of all we will find value of x3 because when i multiply x1 plus x1 into 1 plus x2 into 1 plus x3 into 1 is equals to 5 at that time all the values are unknown to me because neither i am having the value of x1 nor x2 and x3 so next i need to multiply second row with this column and i will get x2 plus x3 is equals to 1 again over here we are having two variables so i will multiply this third row with the column and i will find the value of x3 as this both are zero so x1 into 0 plus x2 into 0 plus x3 which will give me value 2 now as we can notice that first of all we are finding the value of x3 then we can plug value of x3 backward in this 
equation and we get the value of x2 now we plug the value of x3 and x2 backward and we get the value of x1 so this is known as backward substitution this is the python program code for the same we are having scipy library in python which is having linear alg as a library in it and this has a uh, function lu it has a function inbuilt function is there lu well you need to pass the value of a a is our original matrix once you pass the value of a simply it will give you p l and u this will give you p l and u it will decompose and will give you the values this is the output of our program now there is one question do matrices always have an lu decomposition that means whatever is the value of our matrix do matrices do they always decompose the answer is no sometimes it is not possible to write a matrix in the form of lower triangular and upper triangular see in order to check whether our matrix has lu decomposition or not we need to check the first k leading sub matrix of a which is denoted as ak and is the k cross k matrix and that should have a non zero determinant it should have a non zero determinant if it satisfies this condition then matrix a can be decomposed otherwise it cannot be decomposed see the example over here we are having a matrix with with values 1 2 4 3 8 14 2 6 and 13 now to check whether this matrix can be decomposed first of all we will check for k is equals to 1 that means 1 cross 1 matrix a1 is equals to 1 of course determinant is non zero now we take the value of k equal to 2 so 2 cross 2 we will get 1 2 3 8 now we will find the determinant 8 ones are 8 minus 3 twos are 6 the answer is 2 which is again non zero next we take the value of k equal to 3 so we get the entire matrix now we need to calculate the determinant of this matrix for this first of all we will find for 1 you need to uh, eliminate this first row and first column and take matrix of and take determinant of 8 14 6 13 <laughs> then minus 2 into you need to hide these values and take 3 14 2 30 <laughs> similarly for 4 you will take you need to hide first row and third column and you need to take 3 8 2 6 <laughs> now when i'm find determinant of this i what value i am getting is 6 which is again not equal to 0 so the first k leading values are not equal to 0 hence this matrix can be decomposed into lower and upper triangular matrices next is show that the above matrix does not have lu decomposition you need to show that it is not having lu decomposition first of all we will take k equal to 1 we are getting k equal to 1 so 1 cross 1 that is 1 as element now this is non zero so we move further k equal to 2 we will take the value 1 2 2 4 2, now find the determinant for this 4 ones are 4 minus 2 twos are 4 so answer is 0 which means that lu decomposition is not possible as we need to find first k entries and for k equal to 2 we are getting the value 0 so that means lu decomposition is not possible in this case see over here we can see that because of this row it is not decomposable now the solution that we can do is simply we swap the value of row 2 and row 3 we swap the elements of this and then we can carry out lu decomposition as we have seen in this previous step when we 
move or when we exchange the rows it is known as permutation it is known as permutation so sometimes our lu decomposition is also known as lu p decomposition where p is nothing but it is a permutation matrix thank you everyone